Hello, beautiful mothers. I'm so glad to be here today again. And, to, and uh, today I'm going to talk about um, something that is fairly new um, that I haven't talked a lot in my videos or, or in the uh, Facebook, pay, uh, Facebook groups or so on. And it is this. It is that our children, our sons and daughters were given to us by God so that we could heal our wounds. I'm not sure how many of you are familiar with the five wounds uh, of the soul, which are rejection, abandonment, which is a big one, abandonment, and uh, anyways, I'll talk a little bit about it, but abandonment, uh, um, betrayal, uh, humiliation, and injustice. Those are the five wounds that I consider uh, wounds because it is they come from a pain that was caused to us uh, consciously or unconsciously, and then uh, the reaction is are those wounds, and they're all ba based on fear, not love, of course, because they come from pain, right? So, but our sons and daughters are given to us so that we can heal those wounds. Uh, when we adopt that mindset, things shift tremendously, and the reason why is because Let's say you have a son or a daughter who is incommunicated, who is showing you that there's a hurt, that there's pain, that um, they reject you, they don't want uh, to talk to you, uh, they don't want to follow your inst whatever you share with them. When I say follow, meaning uh, they, they, they're constantly in conflict with you. Uh, there's power struggle all the time. And I'm talking about uh, small children and adults, but I'm focusing on the adult relationship at this time. And so any relationship where there is a lot of power struggle, conflict, and absence of dialogue, that means that there is pain, there is fear, there is a wound that hasn't been healed. And um, so how, do I, how is it that our sons and daughters came to help us to heal those wounds. Well, the process of healing a wound um, has many aspects. And one is, first of all, to become aware and to acknowledge that wound. And uh, our children are here to show us that wound. Uh, I'm going to be making a video on this, uh, deep, deeper than this, so that when we understand that and when we become aware of it and when we are conscious of why our son or daughter is reacting and not responding, because responding is a little different. Responding comes from dialogue and love, but reacting in a certain way, then because we are also aware that any change that needs to happen, guess who needs to work on it? Is it your son or your daughter or is it you the one that has to work on it? Well, let me tell you that it is you the one that needs to work on it because you are the person that is taking responsibility for this relationship. You are the person that is saying, I am going to, uh, I decided to make this relationship better. I take ownership of this process and I take action. And um, right now, all I wanted to say in this video was be aware that any word, any, any feeling of uh, abandonment, any feeling of rejection, any feeling of humiliation, any feeling of betrayal, any feeling of injustice that sometimes is underneath those reactions, because again, I'm not going to say response. Response is a conscious response, and we'll talk about it later, but um, they are here in your relationship so that you take the time to heal it, to reframe it, to reframe your thoughts and your history, and to be free, to become free for three things, to serve, to forgive, and to love. And that's 2023. That is the, that is the vision for 2023. So uh, stay tuned and ask me any questions about this. Um, I know that I'm not giving a lot of details right now, because step number one is become aware of this. So God bless you. I'll uh, talk to you next Friday. 
and please do ask questions here or um, go to my Facebook and ask to be uh, to be to ask to be to join and the Facebook group is Motherhood as a Road to Heaven on Earth. I'll be glad to have you there. Bye for now. Have a wonderful weekend and rest of the week.